okay so welcome back and in this video we are going to use the concept of balance and observation to solve some simple equations so let us start with the first equation which says that x plus 3 equals 8 now here our left hand side is x plus 3 and the right hand side is 8 so we know that to solve this equation we have to isolate the x and how do we isolate this x it depends on this term here so we have left hand side which is x plus 3 now if I want to just get x I can simply subtract 3 from this equation right so subtracting three from LHS what we get is x plus three minus three so these two cancel out and what we get is simply x now we have the right hand side as well the RHS and RHS is 8 so in this case also because we have to maintain the balance we need to subtract the right hand side also 3 from the right hand side so we get 5 therefore the new equation which we get is x equals 5 now this is your solution of this simple equation and how do I check whether the solution is correct or not so to check the solution we substitute substitute x equals 5 in the original equation so in this case it would be x plus 3 equals 8 and putting wherever we have x we just put 5 so this becomes 5 plus 3 equals 8 or when this evaluates it becomes 8 equals 8 which means that the left hand side equals right hand side this is the solution now I just want you to reflect a bit what we have done here is we just isolated the x and found out a value of x which is like 5 and then when we substituted this we see that putting that value of x gives us the same value that we get on the other side of the equation which is the right hand side so this is what we mean by equation being a condition on a variable right x simply cannot have any value right it cannot have any value for this equation to be satisfied the equation here let's say that if I take x equals 1 okay if I take x equals 1 so in that case my left hand side is going to be equal to 1 that is x plus 3 which is 1 plus 3 equals 4 but if you see the right hand side it is equal to 8 now 4 is not equal to 8 right this means that this equation doesn't work this is not really an equation it's x is equal to 1 is not a condition that satisfies that equation x equals 5 is the condition that satisfies this equation and therefore it is called the solution of the equation so this is another way to look at what do we mean by the solution of an equation let us look at next example and in this case we will try to use addition operation to solve an equation so we have x minus 3 equals 10 and as usual I would like to isolate the value I would like to isolate x so we have x minus 3 equals 10 and this seems pretty straightforward that if we subtract or we add sorry if we add 3 to both RHS that is the right hand side and the left hand side LHS so let's start with the left hand side which is x minus 3 now let us add 3 to this side so x 
minus 3 plus 3 that gives us x because this 3 will get cancelled out then we have the right hand side which is 10 and now we are supposed to add a value of 3 so we have 10 plus 3 equals 30 okay so now we have the new equation which says that x is equal to 13 and this is our solution now let us try to check the solution that whether x equals 13 is the correct solution or not so what we do is simply substitute x equals 13 in the equation x minus 3 equals 10 so this is our left hand side and this is the right hand side of this equation now this x here becomes 13 minus 3 this right hand side is still equal to 10 13 minus 3 is 10 equals 10 therefore you can see that the left hand side equals to the right hand side therefore this solution x equals 13 is correct and x equals 13 satisfied this equation x minus 3 equals 10 so this is an example where we use addition and observation to find out the solution to a simple equation now let us look at another example and in this example we will try to use the division method so in this case we have 5y equals 35 now note that in earlier examples I used to do it separately that is LHS I used to do it separately and RHS separately that was mainly for the purposes of explanation now I will be a bit more concise so what I can write this is LHS and this is RHS okay and then the equation is 5y equals 35 now I want to find out a solution to y a value of y which actually satisfies this equation now for that what I need to do is to isolate y on the side and if you look at it closely if I divide the left hand side by 5 if we divide this by 5 5 gets cancelled in the numerator and the denominator and we have y but when we divide LHS by 5 we also need to divide the right hand side by 5 right because we need to maintain the balance of the equation therefore let us try to divide left hand side and right hand side by 5 to do that so we have 5y divided by 5 equals 35 divided by 5 or this gets cancelled and we have y equals 5 times 7 is 35 so we have y equals 7 now this is what we got as a solution to our equation but is it correct so for that we just check the solution and we check the solution by substituting y equals 7 in the equation original equation so we have LHS and we have RHS so we have 5y equals 35 and when I put 7 here so we have 5 multiplied by 7 equals this is still 35 and when I evaluate this 35 equals 35 therefore our solution y equals 7 is correct and it, the value of y being 7 satisfies this equation so in this example we used just division to solve the simple equation of 5y equals 35 now let us look at the last operation which is remaining which is that of using multiplication so we have an equation wherein it says that m by 2 equals 5 and we want to find out a value of m which satisfies this equation so let us write down this as the left hand side and the right hand side now if you observe this equation how can I isolate M that is what we have been doing all along so the way to isolate M would be to multiply the left hand side by 2 
Now if I multiply the left hand side by 2, I need to multiply the right hand side by 2 as well to maintain the balance. So let us do that. So let me just write down that multiplying RHS and LHS by 5. So we have M by 2. Sorry, it's not 5. It's going to be 2. It's 2 because we need so multiplying both of them by 2. So M by 2 into 2 and 5 into 2. Right? So this 2 gets cancelled and we have M equals 10. So this is our new equation. Now this is the solution to the equation. M equals 10. So let us check by substituting m equals 10 in the equation so we have lhs we have our right, right hand side so we have m by 2 equals 5 so let's put 10 m equals 10 so 10 by 2 equals 5 or we get let me just write it over here 5 equals 5 this is my lhs and this is my RHS. So you see that the left hand side is equal to right hand side and therefore M equals 10 is a solution to the equation. So in this video we have just picked up very simple equations which involve just one basic operation. You just had to observe it and there was just one basic operation either addition, multiplication, division or subtraction to isolate x and find out the solution and we also learned how to check the solution in the next video we will take up a little next step of examples wherein we might have to use more than one operation to isolate x and come to a solution